Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Modern Warfare update information video here on the channel. Make sure you guys click that like button one time for me and let's go ahead and get right into it. So update 132 is officially out. This is the season two update for Modern Warfare. And I will tell you this now, you need to clear up a lot of memory because this update is very large. It's about 17 gigabytes. And I'm telling you now, if you don't have enough storage to install this update, you're gonna end up having to delete some things. So you can see right here in the background, it's about 17 gigabytes on the PlayStation 4. I will be going over the official patch notes for this update in my next video, so stay tuned for that. Now moving along, let's go ahead and talk about Modern Warfare Season 7. I still feel like this is still going to happen for Modern Warfare. According to Charlie Intel, new Modern Warfare Season 7 leaks, operators, soap, weapons, and more. So let's go ahead and start with the Season 7 operators and what we can expect when this actually comes out for this game. So in a total, we should get two new operators within Season 7, along with Sparks that you can see right here. There is some new updated pictures of this new operator. He will be a bundle within this game when this update actually comes out. I cannot wait for Season 7. I still feel like it's going to happen. He's a part of the Demon Dogs, and his name is Sparks. And you can see with this updated new picture right here, someone had the operator already. I don't know how these people are getting them, but you can see Operator Soap right there to our left. And you can see right here that it's 100% confirmed that these operators are going to be in the game. And within this image right here, you guys can see that if you complete the Soap Operator mission, you can get his ultimate skin and also he will be a bundle in the near future i did talk about this a long time ago but let's go ahead and talk about the season 7 dlc weapons i'm gonna actually explain to you guys on how to get these dlc weapons if you end up unlocking these new weapons you can actually use them in warzone if you have a weapon drop so make sure you have that as well so we have the psycho pistol the cx9 scorpion which is a smg and shout out to big mike because he did upload a video clip of the reload animation right here and last but not least we have our third dlc weapon for season seven and this one is called the rao lmg and i will explain on how to unlock all of these three new dlc weapons and you can actually use them in warzone and survival so if you want to unlock them all you have to do to get the cx9 you have to get two long shot kills while using an smg in five different matches so if you want to unlock this gun right here and it's absolute beast you guys can see right here it's the scorpion if you guys don't remember the scorpion it was on black ops 2. now moving along with our second dlc weapon we have the psycho pistol which you guys are looking at gameplay of right now you have to get four kills while using pistols in five different matches and once you have completed that you will unlock this pistol I don't know if you can get all of the attachments with it, but I'm probably sure you can also do that as well and use it on Warzone to your own advantage, but you have to unlock it first before you end up using your weapon drop to use it within Warzone. Now our third DLC weapon, we have the Rao LMG. If you guys wanna get this one right here, all you have to do is get five kills in seven different matches while using LMGs equipped with a scout optic. So if you're trying to unlock this new LMG, make sure you equip this on other LMGs and you will work your way towards unlocking this bad LMG right here. It's really OP. It takes forever to reload. So whatever attachments that they have where you can reload this gun a lot more quicker, it will come out really handy when you can reload this LMG really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when you reload it. You guys can see it takes a long time just to reload this big LMG. So moving along let's go ahead and talk about the season 7 dlc maps that we could expect within this new season for modern warfare this actually can happen next month because the warzone anniversary is next month and i'm pretty sure we're going to get some new maps so the first one is the air base and we have another map below called drainage and you guys can see right here within this image it's basically a gunfight map it's really small and the next map that you're about to see is called air base and basically the war zone map if you are particular with the airport area and you can basically see within this next image right here you can get a glimpse of what it looks like 
this is basically going to be a 6v6 map so it's going to be about 12 players on this map and they're basically locating it from the warzone airport area and making it smaller now another map that's one of my most favorites is kill house this map was rumored to come out as well within season seven i still want to see this map because it's one of my favorites and also nameless he actually uploaded a picture of the map so those are all of the dlc maps that we can expect within season seven now the biggest thing that is a rumor right now will there be a nuke event within season seven and i'm gonna go ahead and break this down because i really truly feel like a lot of people out there feel like there's gonna be some type of warzone nuke event and we see right here within this article by charlie intel warzone leakers hint at a massive event that could destroy verdansk now picture this for yourself a live event of Verdansk getting nuked and basically certain parts of the map will be destroyed and it'll basically be a destroyed type version of Verdansk and we will be able to play on that destroyed version map. I don't know if they're going to shrink the Verdansk map and make it smaller, but it says right here a major Call of Duty Warzone event is scheduled for March 11th, which has been uncovered by a few leakers and it will seemingly result in the complete destruction of Verdansk. Warzone's integration with Black Ops Cold War brought a ton of new weapons and modes to the Battle Royale, including Rebirth Island. However, this wasn't designed to replace Verdansk. So within the new Zombies Outbreak Challenge event that will be starting tomorrow, there's going to be the Outbreak event within Warzone. And basically, when this Outbreak event comes to an end, I really feel like there could be some type of nuke event. And basically, within Charlie Intel making this article, Call of Duty leakers Warzone News and Modern Warzone have revealed a major event that is set to arrive after Season 2 goes live tomorrow. They both posted teasers of a massive explosion that will happen on March 11th. So that is really coming up quick. It's going to happen next month. He actually made a tweet saying the end of Verdansk is March 11th and he said stay tuned. And he also made another tweet saying think of it of like this. The outbreak event ends a day before the quote end. What do you think that is? Kaboom. And he also said, we're pretty sure Verdansk will always be playable. When the nuke goes off, we'll just be playing on a nuke destroyed Verdansk. And Modern Warfare Operator is not being usable in Warzone anymore. If that does ever happen, it'll be when Call of Duty 2021 releases. So within season two of Black Ops Cold War in Warzone, you guys can see they updated the UI for that. And you guys know that there is something going on within season two of Black Ops Cold War. And Modern Warzone made a tweet saying every large monument that stands over a bunker in Verdansk has been hiding a mission cilio similar to the one below the park in bunker 10 the monument near the military base in verdansk could be seen split in half so within this image right here you guys can see within the season two trailer it was split in half and this is where the nuke is going to be coming out and i slowed this down for you you guys can see that rocket right there it basically confirms that there's going to be 100 percent a nuke event happening in verdansk so this should make you guys really, really hyped. If you guys want to see a different version of Verdansk that is destroyed and nuked, I really cannot wait to see this happen next month because the anniversary of Warzone is coming up next month. So I'm pretty sure they're going to end up doing something big for Modern Warfare and Warzone. So that's why I feel like Season 7 is still going to happen. Even when Captain Price disarmed a nuke, there are still, you know, Easter eggs in Warzone that we still have to solve within that red shiny button that we have to press. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. The zombies outbreak is the reason why this nuke event is happening. So everything is folding within your eyes. So I thought I'd share this video with you guys here on the channel. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below on what you think about this. And I'll catch you on my next video.